The president of the line staff union representing employees at the Bahamas Telecommunications Company says a redundancy exercise by the company has caused more damage than good at the telecommunications giant. The exercise, which has been lingering for quite some time, has BTC employees in limbo awaiting their fate as the company has plans to cut as many as 150 jobs. And according to president of the union, there is not much left for them to do other than wait and hope for the best. Here's Clint Watson. The redundancy exercise of the Bahamas Telecommunications Company continues to experience significant challenges, much to the displeasure of President of the Bahamas Communications and Public Officers Union, Bernard Evans. This has been the most painful, painful, painful I mean, disgusting, poor exercise. I mean, the morale of the staff. It's like you're having a the hangman's noose hanging outside a window and everybody's just watching it. Don't know when they're going to pull the gallows. Evans describes it as a very sad exercise, and despite the union's cooperation, in his view, to not strike, even though they have spoken to management as recent as Thursday, they still don't have answers. To act responsibly, you know of the disruption we have had trying to um, uh, bring to bear our concerns. We've had st we stayed sick out. Everything short of just strike because we can't frustrate the public. We know we have a duty uh, to continue to provide service. But at the same time, they're taking advantage of our good nature. And, and why we just sit there? I mean, it's almost shameful, shameful, that in, in this time in, uh, of the year, in this time, in this country where there aren't jobs available, um, for people to just be sitting around the table and, and sitting on rumors that there are lists going on and, and this one is going and that one is staying, I, I mean, it's just sad. It's a very, very terrible time to be a, an employee at BTC. The BCPOU president says the present situation now has its members in limbo with banks and other financial institutions. Uh, the banks have put everybody on notice. You can't even do a transaction uh, with the bank because the bank don't know, um, you know what's happening with you in your future. Um, but hopefully, uh, with God's help, next week we'll have all this behind us. The union would like to see that, that they made a mistake, that, they, you know, that everybody is you know, short-handed right now, that everybody needs to stay on the job and keep the jobs. Uh, families have made commitments, whether it's mortgage or have the kids in school or whatever it is. But um, the company says it's a capitalist society and the profit at the end of the day and their bonuses is what matters to them most. most. Evan says they're resolved to leaving the matter in God's hands, hoping that in the end all will be well. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. Well, we caught up with BTC CEO Leon Williams today while at the company's annual blood drive to get his views on BCPOU's President Bernard Evans' statements, but he declined to comment. Now, ZNS News understands that all unions representing BTC employees, along with BTC executives met with Director of Labor Robert Farkasin earlier this year, where all parties agreed not to discuss negotiations publicly in the media.